from T-Lab at the Palo Alto Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade pumpkin pie. It's great for fall and perfect to share with friends and family. So grab your canned pumpkin and let's get baking. The ingredients you'll need are half a cup of unsalted butter that is cubed and chilled, one and one fourth cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two to three tablespoons of cold water, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, two large eggs, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one fourth of a teaspoon of allspice. You'll also need a nine inch pie tin, a rolling pin, and a silicon baking mat or other floured surface. For the crust, we're going to make an easy all-butter pie crust that is super buttery and flaky. You can also use a prepared store-bought crust, but I highly recommend making it from scratch because it's pretty easy and it tastes better in my opinion. To start, combine the flour and salt in a food processor and pulse a few times to mix. Add the butter and process until it resembles coarse crumbs. Then add one tablespoon of water and pulse a few times. Add another tablespoon of water and pulse until the dough comes together. If your mixture is still too dry, add another tablespoon of water a little bit at a time and pulse. Till your dough in the fridge while you make the filling. For the filling, whisk the pumpkin, condensed milk, eggs, and spices in a medium bowl until smooth. Take your crust dough out of the fridge and roll it out to about 1 4th inch thickness on a silicon baking mat or other floured surface. Roll your dough out to about a 12 inch diameter or until it looks like it will fit into your pie tin. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then transfer your rolled dough into your pie tin. Smooth it out so it covers the whole pie tin and lays over the edges nicely. Poke holes in your crust with a fork to ensure that no steam bubbles or pockets form while baking. Then pour your filling into your crust.
I also had a little bit of extra gel that I made into this weird like butterfly or leaf design and placed on top. Kind of ruined the aesthetic of the pie, but I didn't want to waste the dough, so yeah. Bake for 15 minutes at 425. After 15 minutes, reduce your oven temperature to 350 degrees and bake for another 30 to 40 minutes. When done, a knife inserted into the center should come out clean. Let the pie cool for at least 30 minutes before serving. Store it, cover it with tin foil, and store it in the fridge. Take it out 20 to 30 minutes before eating. In my opinion, pumpkin pie tastes better the second day because I don't know something about the fridge, like all the spices get to marinate or something. But I don't know. It always tastes better. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming content. And follow us on all the socials at Palo Alto Library. Thanks for watching. Bye.